together. Okay, cool. So what's the closest park? All right, I'm bringing this, I'm bringing that. And then we just meet and then just kick a ball and just have fun. Len's family reunion, a committee. They had a project manager. She's the cousin. She's the oldest cousin. She was the project manager. Weekly meetings. It was like a committee with people in was charge. Was Len part of that? I was in charge of getting the hotel. and it, No, I, Len wasn't. He worked, so I, I represented Len. Isn't that crazy? That's you, what, you don't work? Wow. No, I stayed at home. I told him I got this. Stay at home mom, all those kids? Very different. That would not be raised. You know what we do in that committee meeting? We'd be cracking jokes, playing music. Like, yeah, we gotta get together soon. Yeah, that's a lot of work. Wow. Yo, it was so, intense. Tell these people the story you're about to tell. So you. check this out. Y'all are gonna be proud of me. So I have a goal every week of I I, I have my Apple Watch, which I forgot today. I'm so mad. And so, really, when I don't have my Apple Watch, what it feels like is every time I stand up and every time I walk and every time I do anything is a waste because the watch isn't recording it. So, my goal is for five, it feels like a waste to me, five days a week to close my rings. So, what does it mean? There's three rings that are co, um, co-centric rings. Um, the inside is making sure you stand up every hour for at least 12 hours and so it keeps track. And if you do it, it closes the ring. Um, the one on the outside is burning enough calories throughout the day. If you do it, you close the ring. And the one in the middle is actually working out. So that means your heart's pumping. And so if you close that. So my goal is to close all three at least five times a week. Five times a week. So on Friday was the last of the five days, right? And I worked out. So I closed that ring. I stood way more than 12 hours. So I closed that ring. The one with the calories was not close. So that means you're moving. Any, anytime you're moving, it, it... And I was like, yo, like I worked out. I did all this stuff. And it was just a little bit. And I was like, oh my gosh. It was like 1030. I'm like, dude, like I'm not doing anything else. I tried while I was in the bathroom. It was like this. And so the girls came in. To... <laughs> the girls came in to say goodnight. And I was like, oh, I got a project for y'all. I said, here, where my, <laughs> I said, where my watch? Can you walk around the house, please? <laughs> I did. I give it to Nia, and she was like doing this and going downstairs, and it would like inch a little bit. I'm like, it is not closed yet. <laughs> she kept doing stuff, and then Raina was like, I got it, I got it. They were like fighting to help me close that ring. Did it close? It never closed. I'm wondering it if it needed knew me. You exactly. were cheating. Oh, I was so mad. You know what I would have done? I would have gone, oh, didn't close my rings. No, no, I Like, wouldn't. why do you gotta close them? It's a goal, it's a habit I'm trying to develop. So, so how is having somebody else do it for you part of that goal? No, because I know I moved and I knew I exercised. So I'm like, yo, that's crazy. It is 10 30. This is jacked up. So then I was like, whatever. So I told Nia to... Do you know what's jacked up? Thinking somebody else doing your workout for you counts for you. I'm not workout. But I that, closed that ring. But that is perfectly in line with the, the persona you've created. Ain't that crazy? Be I like, thought of you. I know all about jazz. Do you play an instrument? Nope. Do you know about jazz? No. Nope. One of my kids plays jazz. So, oh, so your kid God. does, so he you're about it. all about, about it. So if your kid works out with I your watch... I pay for that. You worked out. It's not... I closed that workout so, circle. If, it if was your the kids, moving. So if your kids wear your watch, you worked out. <laughs> That's what you're saying. Basically. I was like, okay. yo, can you? Good. At least Mike you says, I grew up a lot like Janelle, taking things on the spur of the moment and adjusting to it and having fun doing it. Isn't life fun when you're like that? It's just fun, you know? So, but I grew like, up not having reunions. How about that? None at all? It was one when I was a kid for my mom's paternal side. Did you appreciate it? I it mean, was you get to meet awkward. People. We didn't know anybody. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Nobody knew yeah. anybody. We what about now people. for your kids? You guys don't do family reunions? Well, we're doing a mini one of sorts. Uh, when we go to Minneapolis here in a couple of weeks, I've gotten together um, all but one of the remaining Dolans I'm aware of in our small oh, clan. Oh, that's cool. Because my grandfather had one brother, and we're going to get together with his remaining son. Yeah. Who's 80. So it's uh, it'll be great. I can't wait. Oh, that's I organized cool. it, sort of. Family reunions are cool. We don't, we just get together. We don't call it reunion. The Neville's is different though. 
Um, Mike says getting out of the car to go into Chipotle to get your order isn't considered exercise, Janelle. Yeah, plus, by the way, Mike, she would never do that. I actually exercise, and I don't get out at Chipotle, no. She'd just yell out the window, get out of here with my food. <laughs> I could walk in there. Ain't nobody got yeah, time for that. that. I don't do that. Bless Welcome back to the B&J Zoo. I am the zookeeper, for the record. Novella is here. Woo! She says, happy June. It is the first day of June. Isn't that awesome? Woo! It's like officially summer mood. We went to the pool for the first time yesterday. It was so awesome. And I did a Janelle move again. When I go to the pool, I like to lay down. I like to see what everybody's doing and just kind of feel the vibe. I do not get in the water. Well, unless I want, I feel like it. it. Especially when it's cold. But it was a little chilly yesterday. So I took all the kids and then we had this little five-year-old that wasn't quite ready for the big pool. And so I, I was like, come on, let's go to this pool. I'm not a baby. I want to go with my cousins. I was like, I'm not getting in the water. So either you go in here or you sit down. And I was like, I am not getting in. It is cold. And she was frustrated. And then here comes Elijah and saved the day. Do you remember you when got, we had a whole debate pools? about swimming suits? Remember that? What? That I said swimming suits for swimming and you said, no, it's not. Were you wearing a swimming suit? I call him a bathing suit. Were you wearing a swimming suit? It was a bathing suit. Were you wearing suit. a bathing suit? No, I wasn't. That's why, why I not? told her. I was why like, not? Because I wasn't going to go in the water. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. You, you just proved your own <laughs> argument wrong. I wasn't going to get in the water. <sighs> Thank you. David says, not warm enough to go swimming yet. It is for my kids. It was awesome. They love it. My it kids was like, love swimming. So where do you get? Oh, you go to, you do have they, a place. They, they like to go to Hinkley. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's cool. I don't swim. Lori says, I have a Garmin watch. I wear it when I work. Many times it is over 16,000 steps. That is awesome. From the time I leave home to the time I come home from my 12-hour shift. That is really good. But I can guarantee Lori is not passing around her watch to other people to get more steps. <laughs> I do, I do all my so stuff. Annoying. I exercise and I stand up. It was that little bit. Then my girls were on it. They were like, yeah, I got you. And Nia was like walking and doing How can stuff. we ever believe you when you say that you reached some goal on your watch? I'm being honest. I told you. I, I closed my circles. But on Friday, I was like, that's so wrong that this circle. Oh, Tammy says, oh, no, here we go again. Thank you. Exactly. Same stuff with Brian. I tried to talk about... Uh, Gary says, good morning, everyone. No. Can't figure out why to go to the pool and not go in the water. I can tell you why. You can read a book. Now, two years... Because uh, last year the pool was closed. We go every single year. It is our second backyard. It's amazing. Um, I was never able... I, oh, I would always look at parents that go... And they're either parents or people. And they're like reading a book or knocked out. I was never able to do that. I always got to be in the water. It's the worst. Or at least watching a kid because they're too little. They're in the baby pool. This is the first year I could just like. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're, we're doing a water park with my that. extended family for Christmas. And it'll be the first time ever Sarah and I've done one where we don't have to take turns. Oh. Standing shin deep in the baby pool, yeah. making sure a kid doesn't die. Yeah, yes. Oh, and it's not even fun. We've talked about how we're going to be sitting in those chairs. We don't yes. care. Get out of here. <laughs> For real. I told mom, I'm like, yo, bring pizza, be like, go eat, and don't talk to me. I told my mom, I'm going to be like, first person to come and talk to me, we're going home. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't <laughs> yeah, wait. <laughs> no, that's a great idea. Oh my gosh. I can't oh, wait, wow. but I've earned it. I have been in the water. Remember being all cold and just like carrying the kid? And you're just it's terrible. Like, oh. And I want to go in the wave pool. I want to go in the wave yes. pool. You stand there. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. And it's winter. The water's not quite warm yeah. enough. The air is not quite warm enough. You say you spend all day cold. Yes. All day. Oh man. Lori Look says, yes, I am. She's a nurse. She works in orthopedics at Main Campus. Man, you're big time. Main Campus in Cleveland Clinic. My two older boys were born in Main Campus. Love Main Campus. Um, Mike says, thank you for your work and your compassion for others. Yes, thank you, Lori. You're awesome. To you. Gary says, let's go to a racetrack and not watch the race. 
Oh, that, no, dude, you don't need to get in the water. She, she goes to Rita, movies boom. and doesn't watch the movie. Yeah, basically. She she doesn't. She goes to parks and stays in the car. She goes sledding and doesn't sled. <laughs> Wow, I sound wow. That's crazy. You just figuring that out? John says I flew into Fort Lauderdale, Florida recently, and every home in this giant neighborhood had a pool. It was crazy to see from the air. I bet they've been swimming for weeks. It was hot. You bet. What's going on, John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt? Good to see you back. Gary Mr. Says, Congratulations on this morning's win, Brian. Thank you, Gary. Janelle lost at five second roll. I did. Because she doesn't know what she's talking about. <laughs> God. Last week she thought there's a piano in the Bible. Uh, there should be. They in every church. Thank you. There should be a piano in the Bible. I'm gonna tell God when I get there. I'll be like, can I just say one? That's where Raina gets it. Do you think I'm gonna be? A, I'm gonna amuse God. Do you think He's gonna find me? Find me funny? I wonder that. He just wrote this down. <laughs> Remember that time, Janelle, you know, when you said, "Yeah, there should have been." You should have shut your mouth. Oh my God. Who's on Facebook? Let's, I mean, on YouTube. Let me see. Oh, look, we got new subscribers. Bruce on Face on YouTube says, Mr. Perfect Brian, she did everything she was supposed to do. It seems that something was wrong with the ring. What was that about? I don't know. I did something. No surprise. Mr. Perfect Brian. I am, I'm pretty, no, I'm not that perfect. God's perfect, man. I'm just, I'm just me. Thank you, Bruce. Yes, I see what you're trying to say about the ring. That's what I'm talking about. I worked out, I did a hit, I moved, I stood. How in the heck do I close the exercise circle, the stand-up circle, and the calorie circle isn't closed? I was like, for sure something's wrong. And it's 10.30, and I don't got time for this. So I said, here, Nia, go do your thing. And she, you know. Bruce, if you're comfortable. Thank you, Bruce. You are awesome. Having people my do brother, exercise for my them. My brother, thank you. You guys can be in that ship together. <laughs> Mike says, maybe not a piano, but string instruments. Uh, Gary says, this five-second game is turning into a 7-10 answer game. Rachel's here. Woo! My, my Team Janelle people, I want you to stay tuned. The state's opening up. Stuff is coming back to normal. We about to go have a barbecue. Remember the Sancocho we talked about? We about to have fun together. I don't know what his people are going to do. They're going to, like, bring the food to our table. I'm not showing up at your, t at your party. So, uh, why don't you tell people about... How boring you are because you don't like science fiction and UFOs. Go ahead. Isn't it dumb? Science fiction? I just... Uh, and I'm married to somebody that loves science fiction. I think it's dumb. Like, those kind of movies, oh my goodness. What's up, Orise? I just think, like, it's not real. It's so... Like, why? Like, Independence Day. Your dumb love Man, stories are dumb. real? They're real. They're real. It's emotion. Human emotion. You can relate. So you, so you don't think How Hollywood's do depiction of love hasn't negatively impacted real relationships? Oh my gosh. Really? That's what she does when she's wrong. That, right there. Did you see that? <laughs> What's up, boy? Reese? He says, good morning, family. Everybody knows science fiction is fake. Your crazy obsession with love stories in Hollywood is wrecking people's perception of marriage. Thank you. Thank you. Robert says, Janelle in heaven. Meanwhile, God speaking to Brian, Janelle, she not funny. <laughs> <laughs> I always wondered that, though, because, like, in the, in the church and in the, in the church, we act like you got to be a certain way. That's, like, not how I am. So I'm like, I wonder if there's space for somebody like that. Or do we have to tone it down? Will the angels tell us, shh, y'all calm down. Stop all that mess. Or will God be like, no, I made her like that. Stop. <laughs> like I'm trying to justify the craziness. Lori says some science fiction is fun, like Star Trek. Live long and prosper. So, can you explain the difference between Star Trek and and Star Wars? <laughs> can you please? Don't, I will not answer that question. It's so dumb. <laughs> oh my God. So dumb. Are you serious? What? Star Wars was kind of cool. My kids are, like, trying to get me into it. We're only at number four. Like, if you can't answer that question, I, I will that. not even entertain it. The only one I liked response. that was Star Sci-Fi was Spaceballs. That was kind of funny. <laughs> that was the only movie I liked. It was, and it was super old. But she was cute. She was super spoiled. Then she had her little robot doing everything for her. I need something like that. Thank you. Novella says, God made us individually for a reason. That's right, Novella. 
Team Janelle is going to be in heaven like, what's up, God? Yeah. Is that bad? Like, think about it. He <laughs> oh my gosh, let me stop. Our boss could be like, this girl, Janelle. Uh, Mike says, I like sci-fi because I am a space cadet. You don't get it. I don't either. And he says he's a graduate of Starfleet. You don't get it. <laughs> I don't know what y'all talking about. You don't get it. Wow. And it'll be grown men in sci-fi stuff. It's like, dude, y'all don't have something else you're, to do. You're a scruffy looking nerf herder. That's what you are. <laughs> Laura says, I think as we are made in God's image, he must have a sense of humor. I hope so. As most of us earthlings have one. Also, can I get a birthday shout out? Woo! Halfway to 70. Oh my goodness, my family does that. We straight up have half birthdays. And then you get half a cake. Halfway to 70, that's what I'm saying. Woo! He's a hater. Happy half birthday. Rachel says, Janelle, they all the same. Track wars, hot mess. Thank you. A hot mess. Thank you, Rachel. David says, happy birthday. Lori says, Google it, Janelle, about Starfleet. I'm going to Google it right now. She still won't get it. Watch about. this. She still won't understand it. Star. <laughs> Starfleet. Okay, it's battles. It's a fleet of stars. Uh, it's a fictional organization in Star Star Trek media franchise. Within this fictional universe, Starfleet is a uniformed space force maintained by the United Federation of Planets as the principal means for conducting deep space exploration, research, defense. Wow, they are like on point. Sounds like in the United States military. Uh, Mike says, Janelle, you said you were going to watch Space Seed? What the heck is that? And the Wrath of Khan. She says a lot of stuff, Mike. Trust me. I'm sorry to disappoint you, Mike. <laughs> when she says stuff, you just... No, listen. It's a 50-50 shot. It's going to happen. The thing is, we were all going to watch Star Wars, and my kids were trying to get me into it. We got to number four, but it's very complicated because it's eight of us. And then, so you got to find time for all eight. To watch this movie, then the pandemic started, then we had people in our house, so it, it was kind of delayed. But we're going to get back in, into it. Elijah wants me to continue. Jennifer is here late. So what should we say about Jennifer? That's a problem. She's late. People who are late got problems. Wow, Jennifer. I don't problems. Know. I'm glad you're here, Jen Jennifer. I don't know why anyone would talk to you like that. But I don't understand. I respect you, and I'm sure you're busy, <laughs> and I'm glad you're here. Do you, have you ever heard of that? Half birthdays? And who are you to tell people to show up late's bad? That's all you I do. I thought you mad slow. <laughs> show I was up trying late? to get a reaction. Three hours late to the no, staff I party. No, I wasn't late. I asked, but I'm not going to go there because he likes his old jokes. Old. Duh. See how this does that? Oh, my gosh. Okay, I got it. <laughs> okay. It's Star Trek, not Star mm. Wars. Yeah, it's two different. What? It's all about go only going where no man has gone. She doesn't know about that. Awesome. You guys are awesome. I'm all about. I do. Um, who's that guy? The one with the black mask? <laughs> Darth Vader? I'm all about Darth Vader. That 